all right everyone here we are with another video with invest for tomorrow to all the first time viewers and investors welcome to the channel and to all the subscribers welcome back all i ask for in return is for you to smash that like button to let me know you watch this video and to stay tuned on in towards the second half of this video guys right after this chart analysis i'm going to share with you guys the ticker symbol you won't want to miss that you definitely want to add to your watch list as well as the opportunities we caught this morning over at the discord both of these stocks were up 50% plus on the day and since the moment we caught them it gave us between 10 to 30 percent opportunities and the other one gave us 30 to 50 percent opportunities at its highs guys this is definitely an awesome opportunity to become part of a community of investors that we're all looking to learn and grow together we've been doing it consistently every single day and if it's something you want to become part of you're more than welcome to the link is down below in the description and if you love day trading and swing trading penny stocks that is where you'll want to be the link is down below to the discord and we look forward to having you join us and by joining you will gain access to all the opportunities that await you so sndl sundar growers inc actually breaks through yesterday's highs we saw this pulling back it wasn't looking so great in the aftermarket hours it started to pick up subtraction pre-market kind of kept going pulled back right hit a low here of 84 cents and then just took off with the rest of the meme stocks and now it's pulling back okay so we got some things here to look at i mean the bulls definitely are maintaining traction here away from the 50-day moving average and one of the most important things right now is the 50-day moving average at 88 cents anything above it is bullish anything below it is bearish we're currently sitting at 95.69 so our first support level is right here at 95.02 I just round that down to 95 cents to watch it closely if that gets broken through the next point of reference and this is informal i would use it as a midway point is right here at this point of 91.63 or 91 cents or 92 cents wherever you want to round it down or up to but to be exact 91.63 is the point of reference i would use to watch it very closely and see if the bulls are trying to reappear and bring it back up or if the bears are getting one step closer to the 50-day moving average super important to watch now what's the first resistance level the bulls need to break through well this close one right here of 98 cents if they can accomplish that and turn it into a support they're building momentum but what they really want to do is pull further away from the 50-day moving average as much as possible and the highest point reach was up here at 103 and significantly just breaking through one dollar would be key right now for the bulls right here at this point after 98 one dollar and then all the way up here at 103 104 to continue the momentum continue this rally and continue to pull up to reach newer highs now yesterday it had a healthy pullback and a big bounce we'll have to see if this is a healthy pullback going into a big bounce for next week if you learn something new don't forget to subscribe click on the bell so you don't miss a single video that i post and share this with your friends and community so they don't miss out on the information as well and all I ask for is three to five more minutes of your time. Let's talk about the ticker symbols we mentioned this morning over at the Discord, as well as the ticker symbol you want to add to your watch list moving forward. So the ticker symbol I have for you guys today is one that we've talked about before. And now it's in a position that you definitely want to be watching it moving forward. So we're going to talk about it in just a moment. We've talked about it over at the Patreon. We've talked about it here on YouTube. We're going to talk about it again because the opportunities are getting bigger and bigger so let's talk about the ticker symbols we mentioned this morning and how they perform so if this is something that interests you and you want to become part of you're more than welcome to join us over at the discord the link is down below in the description we look forward to having you join us and by joining you will gain access to all the opportunities that awaits you so i had stated volume was a little bit low i was going to put my stop losses extra close today just to be cautious because it's friday long weekend coming up and the two stocks we watch were vt and r and itrm so we started watching this one at 595 and this one at 146 so they both jumped pretty fast you could see it down here but let's look at these charts together because they performed pretty well so we caught this one in the fives again right there at 595 and it was sitting around this area when we caught it right and it ran a little bit pulled back down towards the bell hit a low here of 565 and took off to 690 and also 
649 so in just a few minutes it gave 10 percent plus and all the way up here at 690 it gave close to 20 percent plus then it started to fall back down hit a low here of 563 and anyone that was able to go ahead and look at the charts and take it that far into the day i mean that's a really long trading day but catching it at that dip and rode it up to this high here it definitely gave about 50 percent back guys this was between 30 to 50 percent jump here from these lows and from when we mentioned it it's still a 30 to 50 percent jump throughout the day guys this was spectacular a great way to end the week the second stock we talked about was itrm and this is what we look for every single day guys we're constantly looking for opportunities all we really want is five to ten percent and on a great day 10 to 20 percent and 20 percent plus is a home run as i call it so we talked about this one sitting at 146 and it was actually around this area just a little bit above it it fell down and hit a low here of 140 and ran up to 151 giving us about five to eight percent jump right there right away then it pulled back and it hit a low here of 138 that was the low of the day so one of the strategies i always talk about is you know timing and execution looking at the lowest point where you feel is the lowest right going ahead putting your stop loss limit order and if it doesn't execute you just ride the wave until you feel comfortable but right after that it jumped up and gave another eight to ten percent jump pulled back and it took off after that through the momentum and volatility all the way up to a high here of 156 from this point to this point that was certainly a 10 to 15 percent jump this turned out to be great as well it took a little bit longer but both of these trades if you look at these charts they didn't really give us the true strong gains until later that day but early on in the morning what i look for is five to ten percent on a regular day and 10 to 15 percent on a great day and 20 percent plus is a home run and we got that certainly but these turned out to be spectacular so what's the stock you want to add to your watch list well i talked about this one last week i've talked about it this week and it's airbnb guys we've been talking about it since it's slightly bottomed out let's go ahead and zoom out here so we can catch it from the bigger picture it was consolidating we caught it right here around this pullback pulled back down went back up started to pull back again it was at 133 that was the low just consolidating sideways and now has jumped all the way up to 144 so this has given us multiple opportunities to go ahead buy the dips load up for those that are long and swing trade this for five to ten percent opportunities throughout the whole entire process so this is a stock for those that are looking long term i mean when you really zoom out here this was getting more interesting the lower it went because it was getting close to the lows here of the ipo and this is a stock that if you have not done your research you have not done your due diligence and you don't know enough about you definitely should and keep this on your watch list because this could 2x it could just based off everything we see here and if it doesn't 2x it could go up anywhere from 50 to 70 percent up if things go right for this stock and things start to reopen traveling starts to go ahead and expand and things start to get quote unquote normal for the economy and for individuals that are looking to travel and airbnb is going to change the way we see hospitality i talked about it last time i just want to briefly touch base on it put this on your watch list if you don't have it already thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money